Are you getting any response from him, Anna? Yeah, he's logging on right now. Okay. Did you get any public comments after the notice? They've, they've all been really um, supportive. And okay. yeah, um, they're, they're all included in the staff report. I guess I can go ahead and um, share my screen. He's here. Let me. Is it? Oh, Tony Kriesel? Yeah. Okay. Who's Tony? He's not part of the. I think that's not architect, but Tim. Okay. Should be coming on soon. I can't share my screen though. Oh, let me give you presenter privileges. Okay. And Tim Dwyer just entered as well. Yeah, he just said he was on now. Okay. I, All right. Tim, um, I don't know what kind of device you're connected with, but you do not have the ability to be muted and unmuted or moved into the panelist list. Um, maybe try going out and reconnecting or connecting with another device. Do you want me to get, uh, should I stay on the line with him or should uh, we hang up? It doesn't matter. It okay. doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Aubrey, can you unmute Tony Krasel just to make sure? Um, we can hear him. Tony, you are unmuted. If you could let me know, you can hear me. Yeah, no, I can hear you guys. Great. Thank you. Joel, did you want me to leave him unmuted or or I I think that'll be fine. He's he's representing the applicant okay. and um uh, Tony, hopefully you're unmuted. Uh so that's not technically true. Um, okay, I am working on the project, but not as the architect. Oh, I, I apologize. So I am a not important, but I was just curious about this meeting, but not I don't okay. have anything to add. So you can feel free to mute me. I will okay. have to mute you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now it looks like uh, Tim, Tim Dwyer can be muted or unmuted. I cannot make him a panelist. Okay. Tim, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Tim, if you have your own presentation or anything that you want to include in this, you can email it. It, it sounds like you can't share your screen on this. So, mm -hmm. you can email it to me or to Aubrey and we'll share our screen for you. Great. Thanks. I don't have anything else. Okay. Uh, okay. Else. okay. All, all right. Well, let's, let's formally start this meeting. I think, um. I think we have everybody here that that we need. Um, hold on for just a second. My name's Joel Patterson. I'm the uh, administrative hearing officer today, and we're going to call together or open up the uh, administrative hearing agenda for October 28, 2021. We just have one item on the agenda today. It's a conditional use request to expand an existing small brewery tavern and add a bar establishment to the properties located at 312 West, 800 South, and 774 South, 300 West, um, which directly abut the existing Fisher Brewery located at 316 and 324 West, 800 South. Um, this is application number PLN PCM 2021-00714. Uh, this will be a public hearing. Uh, we'll Start off by having the staff planner Anna England give a, a presentation. Then we'll open it up to the applicant um, to provide any additional information. 
and then open the public hearing um, if anyone uh, comes on to uh, to participate. So, Anna, why don't I turn it over to you and, and you can make your presentation. Thanks, Joel. Um, so this is a conditional use for the fishery Rury expansion. Um, what they want to do is they want to expand into the two um, parcels that are east of their existing um, brewery or small brewery right here at 774 and then 312. Currently, the 312 um, parcel is empty um, and 774 South 300 West is um, does have a coffee shop and then it has like a, a small artisan food business that isn't open to the public. It's just where um, someone just prepares food and sells it um, off premise. And um, it's in a D2 zoning district. Um, they also are looking into adding a bar establishment license as well. So I guess they want to sell spirits along with it, um, with the beer. Um, and it is in a D2 zone. And a staff recommendation is approval with conditions. Um, one of the conditions are, are is getting met right now, um, and that's a lot consolidation. Um, the next condition would be to um, remove an existing parking space that doesn't really have any curb cut. They have to, and um, it cuts across the, the coffee shop here, and there's some outdoor dining in this area. This is the um, parking space that we're referring to. And then having the other off street parking area here limited for uh, use for deliveries and that type of stuff where they can go ahead and keep the curb cut. They just shouldn't be using it for parking because again, it's um, blocking pedestrian flow and that type of thing there. And then uh, we also are recommending that they take out this curb cut as well, which they are proposing to do um, with their application. They did propose to do with their application and adding street trees with it. Um, and so those are the recommendations is to um, remove the uh, to or discontinue um, use with one of the the uh, um, off street parking sites in front of three or 774 South 300 West and um, eliminate the other one. And then the, and then again, uh, removing the curb cut in front of 312 West 800 South and then also the lot consolidation. Great. Thank you, Anna. Um, Mr. Dwyer, uh, we'll open the, the floor for you now. Is, is there anything you would like to, to add? Um, yeah, thank you for the time and Anna for your uh, help in going through this process. Um, as far as um, I do have a question, or I guess a clarification on the, on the curb cut. Um, and I'm not sure if you can go back on your, uh, your slide there. Mm -hmm. So in the site plan, there is, there's two curb cuts on the south side of the building currently. Uh, one of them that we are certainly planning on taking out, um, uh, which basically dead ends in the building, um, which is 312 West. Um, and then the second one, which you've highlighted, um, which we are, we are hoping to keep for access for private events and for catering businesses and things like that to be able to access um, kind of that western or sorry that eastern portion of the building. Is um, this what you're referring to here? Because I'm only seeing two curb, uh, curb cuts. So our plan, you can see it's dashed right now. There is a, a there is a, there's two curb cuts that are immediately adjacent to each other. And we are certainly planning on removing the Western one, but we are hoping to keep that Eastern one that is that is shown in white. Uh, but you can see a red dashed one that's just to the West of that one um, that we were, we were certainly planning oh, on getting rid of. Are you talking about this one here? Correct, yep. 
Okay, I'm sorry. The landscaping made it look like I did not see that that was an actual curb cut there. So I get, yeah, I do see two here right now. Yeah. So we were, I guess the the only other. I mean, this is the condition to move forward. We can certainly remove both, um, but we certainly see a utility to be able to utilize that second curb cut, the one that's to the east that's shown on the plan still, um, to be able to pull up. Uh, private food trucks or catering businesses or to load and unload uh, like seating for that private event space. Um, we do see utility in that and we would basically utilize a gate um, only when we were doing loading and unloading to try to do the loading and unloading on our property and not on uh, the, the public right away of the sidewalk there. Okay. So, so the easternmost, um, curb cut you're you're proposing to keep and and that can be used where you can pull trucks or um, vehicles in and not block the sidewalk correct that, mm -hmm. gotcha okay at least that's our that's as 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 proposed uh, we'd like to do that again uh, you know i understand um, the conditions are what they are and we're happy to to comply with whatever the commission here plan or the planning commission decides, but uh, we do see really um, good utility for that second curb cut for our intended use of that space. So, Tim, this is the outdoor like patio area, though, right? As mm -hmm. well, going through here, and so the curb cut would go pretty much right where the outdoor patio area is going to be located, correct? Correct, but so if you were to drive into that driveway, you're gonna be able to continue to go into an overhead door. So is the it, idea is that we would be able to use that as a loading and unloading zone only, um, pulling pulling whatever truck all the way onto our property there. And you're not gonna have any kind of permanent, cause I know that there was some landscaping requirements that are gonna be take effect in through through this area mm -hmm. and then here and then some as well here. So, um, yeah, effectively we'd like to proceed with it as it's drawn where we remove the, the westernmost curb cut. We have a tree there, we have planting underneath that. And then we're adding, you know, the trees along, um, the south side and planters uh, of the patio area, but we do have like a an access gate uh, essentially for this loading and unloading for the to service the private event space. Okay. Um, other than that, yeah, the, the we've we've done gone through a lot consolidation process before uh, with three sixteen and three twenty four, which is now three twenty west in our current place and uh, we're planning where we actually have a application in on that um, removing the other two parking places uh, I think is a really great thing um, that's going to allow that coffee shop tenant who's in the front of, of 774 south to fully utilize uh, the sidewalk area there and uh, I think that'll be ultimately good for the frontage um, on uh, for their business and for our ongoing tenants there. And aren't you also planning on occupying the space here once the lease is up where um, Correct. the other tenant and you were planning on maybe putting some more outdoor seating through here? At least you were, we had talked about that at one point. Yeah, and that might also be utilized by that coffee shop as well. Um, that's kind of a nice little nook that's off the street and um, they've indicated an interest in that if we're not going to be using it. So, um, We'll be negotiating that with our our tenants and figuring out what the best use is. Um, but you know, overall, we're looking to really activate um, you know from the from the street level uh, what's going on there. People being able to you know be sitting there and either having a having a beer and food from the food truck or uh, you know having coffee from the coffee shop in that space um, immediately to the west uh, or to the east, excuse me, of of seven seventy four. Okay. Tim, let me let this is Joel Patterson. Uh, sure. let, let me ask you a quick question. So on the site plan that, that Anna has up now, on that curb cut that you would like to keep, um, it 
it sh this plan shows a street tree there. Am I reading that correctly? That's what it looked like to me, but I, I guess that is actually he, that's the curb cut that he wants. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There, there is nothing to move, remove. I'm, there's nothing there now, uh, right? So we, we're not removing. We're not proposing to remove any vegetation. We're at planning to add a significant number of trees there. Yeah. Okay. I understand. And, and so that that curb cut exists. There's actual uh, actually a. Uh, the service door in the building there, you can get service vehicles in there so that they're not blocking the sidewalk. Correct. Okay, great. And like I said, we'd have that gate so that, you know, if we had like a taco cart or something that a private party wanted to bring in um, that we could have that dropped off um, and operating separate from the rest of the brewery and basically utilize that space and have it closed off to the street and part of that private event space um so we see yeah like i said like if there's a, a catering uh company that's bringing in food or uh someone's hosting you know a party where they want tables and chairs that they're bringing in you know we just see a lot of utility and being able to load and unload through that side entrance okay. um, rather than being in the public right away on third west which is a much bit busier street you know, this is a really nice place to be able to tuck off the street and be able to service that space. Right. Okay. I, I understand now. Um, all right. Did, Tim, do you have any additional input? Uh, no, I think at this point, um, you know, I, I, I can be fully agreeing on the, the, the other conditions and, um, you know, we're looking forward to expanding our business and uh, doing some different things here and continuing to be a driver of, you know, commerce in the area and in and, and the, the corridor here that leads into the rest of the granary district. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Anna, do you, do you have any more to, to add before I open up the public hearing? Um, no, no, I, I think um, we could probably just change the conditions of approval to remove the Western um, yeah. drive approach on that. Okay. To Great. clarify. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I am now going to uh, open up the public hearing um, to allow any comments and we do not have any hands raised. I don't think we have anybody else um, in attendance. And I, I'm trying to open up all the attendees and it's not letting me do it for some reason. Um, we just have Tim Dwyer and Tony Grizel in, on there and there are no hands raised. All right. And just to make sure, can you ask Tony again? I, I think he said he didn't really have anything he wanted to add, but we'll give him the opportunity. Tony, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, yeah, no, I mean, I submitted a formal um, written comment, but I mean, yeah, I just, I think Fisher is a really good um, business slash community partner to have in the neighborhood. Um, I live across the street and it's been, they've been great. Um, they're a great neighbor. They're, I think, good for the community. And I think this expansion will be really good. So that's all I have. Thank you, Tony. And with that, I'm going to close the public hearing since we have no one else in attendance uh, and we'll make it the, the following decision. Um, based on the information in the staff report and the, the uh, analysis and findings for the conditional use um, and the input provided during this public hearing, I am approving the proposed conditional use Application PLM PCM 2020-0714, subject to the conditions listed in the staff report, and we'll modify that to clarify that the on excuse me on uh, eight eight hundred south the eastern curb cut that is existing uh, that leads to the um, that service door uh, can remain. Um, and be used for um, temporary access for, for services to the building. Um, and with that, I think we're, we're done.
Well, thank you, Joel. I appreciate it. Um, Aubrey and Anna, thank you as, as well for uh, your work on this project and thanks for getting us through this process. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Tony. All right, with that, um, this, this meeting is officially complete. We're done. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.